Hello viewers, we all pray some time or the other and we usually pray for ourselves. Jesus said to love others and one way in which we can express our love for others is to pray for them. So let us begin. Let us pray for our beloved Pope Francis. Let's pray that God may grant him good health and wisdom to be a true shepherd to his people. We lift up in prayer the Pope's intention for this month. December 2020 For a life of prayer We pray that our personal relationship with Jesus Christ be nourished by the Word of God and a life of prayer. El corazón de la misión de la Iglesia es la oración. La oración es la llave para que podamos entrar en un diálogo con el Padre. Cada vez que leemos un pequeño pasaje del Evangelio, escuchamos a Jesús que nos habla. Conversamos con Jesús. Escuchamos a Jesús y respondemos. Y esto es la oración. Orando cambiamos la realidad y cambiamos nuestros corazones. Nuestro corazón cambia cuando ora. Podemos hacer muchas cosas, pero sin oración no funciona. Recemos para que nuestra relación con Jesucristo se alimente de la Palabra de Dios y de una vida de oración. En silencio tutti. Ognuno prega col cuore. We pray for our Archbishop Philip Neri Ferrao. We pray for all the work that he is doing to draw the community in the Diocese of Goa and Daman closer to God. Let us pray for all persons who have consecrated their life to the Lord. Grant them the grace to continue to work in the vineyard. Let us pray in a special way for our diocesan priests, especially those who celebrate their birthday today. Let's now pray for the Catholic Charismatic Renewal that it might be an instrument of renewal of the entire Church. We pray for the Mega Convention to be held in Mumbai in October 2022 to mark the 50th anniversary of the CCR in India. Prayer Lord God, at daybreak, be merciful to us and bless us. Pour out your mercy upon us and restrain us from every evil impulse. Keep guard over our thoughts, words and deeds. Cleanse us from all our iniquities. Cleanse us from all our impurities with your precious blood and give us complete health of mind body and soul. Stalk clouds darker 
I just keep trusting my Lord He will never fail Pay heed to our prayer and let the dawn from heaven break upon us. We call with all our hearts, O Lord, hear us. In your love, O Lord, hear me. Give us new life and the joy of living. Our strength and our courage is in you. Lord, strengthen us in faith and in self-confidence. We cry, O Lord, for you are our refuge. We cry, O Lord, for the suffering humanity. Heal the world, O Lord, and save us from sickness, death, and destruction. Remove all kinds of fear from our hearts and give us inner peace and tranquility. Save our youth from all kinds of negativity, depression, and suicidal tendencies. Lord, teach them the art of living. Lord, set the world free from the grip of the deadly virus. Let us breathe in clean air. Bless our families and keep us under the wings of your protection. Bless and purify the world and preserve the beauty of your creation. Let's now pray for the prayer groups in Goa that they may be an instrument to encourage spiritual growth in all those who attend the prayer meetings. Let us keep the following petitions in our prayer. For a girl in India having a very rare disease. A person admitted in hospital for high diabetes. A mother requests prayers for a suitable life partner for her son. For a family of three, all tested COVID positive. For a person in Dubai, tested COVID positive. 
for a person requesting for police clearance to be given soon. For a very young girl having diabetes and on insulin. A prayer request received for healing. For a person's leg to be healed. For a person critically ill at a GMC. For a person admitted in hospital with heart attack. A lady requests prayers for good health. For a young boy who met with an accident in Mumbai. For a girl having knee ailment. For a lady having kidney stone issues. For a person who is organizing his documents to go to UK. Let us pray for all those afflicted with COVID-19. Let us pray for all those struggling with various addictions. Let us pray for all those having financial difficulties. Pray also for all your personal intentions. Finally, let us thank the Lord for all the answered prayers. Let us lift up all our intentions mentioned in this program as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it as was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. You are not alone. Your brothers and sisters will support you in prayer. If you have a prayer intention, all you need do is to WhatsApp 800-745-7376 or 992-187-8446 or make a voice call between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. Be assured that a committed group of persons will lift your prayer request to the Lord.